because I feel like this all the time trying to politically awaken people that they're being lied to, that there's an agenda. It's not left or right. It's, hey, there's mind control going on. The signals broadcast 24 hours a day through all this media. Just become aware of it, and they'll say, there's nothing going on. And I want to say, put on these glasses or start chewing concrete. <laughs> have taken the hearts and minds of our leaders. They have recruited the rich and the powerful, and they have blinded us to the truth. The question is, do we all work for central bankers? That's what I want to address to our guest tonight. Our impulses are being redirected. We are living in an artificially induced state of consciousness that resembles sleep. An estimated 50 to 70 million Americans suffer from a sleep disorder or sleep deprivation. Outside the limit of our sight, feeding off us, perched on top of us from birth to death, are our owners. Latest census numbers prove the United States has the biggest gap between rich and poor compared to all westernized countries today. Our projections show that by the year 2025, not only America, but the entire planet will be under the protection and the dominion of this power alliance. The gains have been substantial, both for ourselves and for you, the human power elite. <laughs> For the first time in all of human history, mankind is politically awakened. That's a total new reality. I've got one that can see. We can't be the only ones who can see. Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's got at the root of all our problems. It's a new morning in America. Fresh, vital, the old cynicism is gone. We have faith in our leaders. We're optimistic as to what becomes of it all. It really boils down to our ability to accept. We don't need pessimism. I have two words for you. Predator drones. <laughs> and who are you, little fella? You will never see it coming. And I'm predicting the first guy who uses a Second Amendment weapon to bring a drone down that's been hovering over his house is going to be a folk hero in this country. Nice. There is a signal broadcast every second of every day through our television sets. I'm just trying to warn you folks, the television is a giant LED weapon system. It's so advanced. They got a monkey farm in Bastrop, folks, that they do all sorts of testing on great apes, rhesus monkeys, the whole nine yards. And they go, oh, you didn't see this, and punch a button, and it'd be hundreds of monkeys with wires in their brains with television sets brainwashing them. All I ever have to do is be famous. People watch me, and they love me. You can have a little taste of that good life, too. Now, I know you want it. Hell, everybody does. Do it to your own kind. What's the threat? We all sell out every day. Might as well be on the winning team. The real men of the world have to stand up and say, I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> Time to take a stand, boys. You know what? You got a little courage. Stand up for yourself. Waging war on corruption. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines 